Beckham and Beckham scores and now for the post-match interview. Hello it's John your pronunciation and accents coach and right here you can get a better British accent. Have you ever wondered where footballers, sports people and musicians come from? I mean really come from. I don't mean they're from London and so they must speak in a Cockney accent. No, I'll tell you exactly what they have based on where they come from in London. Now first a little bit of background about London. So London is made up of 32 districts, what we call boroughs. Luckily it can be further split into roughly north, south, east and west. Today's video is between a footballer and an actor. Whose accent is milder and whose accent is more hardcore? And which is more cockney? Let's find out. So without further ado, let's kick off, pun intended, with a footballer who is one of England's best and, well, most treasured. Yes, let's start with analysing David Beckham's accent to see what features his accent has and if we can tell he's from East London. Now I found an interview with David Beckham and I'll include the link and the time you need to watch. It's from 2020 and it's got very clear audio. Check out right from the beginning to 1 minute 32 seconds for the following accent features that I point out. So here are some of the features of his speech. The first notable characteristic is that he generally speaks standard southern British English, including a definite R ah sound. For example, someone just asked me. Now he hardly pronounces the L at the end of words. This is called L vocalization and it is a characteristic of Cockney in fact which is an accent from the east end of London. Listen to how he says I'm not nervous at all. So he swallows the L sound at the end of all. It's a very common feature of the east end sound. He sometimes says a F sound instead of a TH sound as in throughout my career and he also says South Florida almost like one word South Florida do you notice he doesn't say the th at the end of South so he definitely has a slight London accent with some characteristics of East London and Cockney I've already done a video on estuary English. If you'd like to see that, please look at the link below. Now, let's move on to an actor who has more of a hardcore East London accent, and that is Ray Winston. And he is a perfect example of a native Londoner with a Cockney East End accent. The funny thing is, he often portrays the gangster hard man that the East End is so famous for. OK, so let's analyse Ray's accent features. In the interview that I've included in the link below, you'll be able to hear the following. Firstly, Ray uses the glottal stop all the time. Check the video from 2 minutes 10 seconds to hear him say, It's like, I suppose it's like being a paint now. You've got to sign it. You've got to see if it turns out the way you want it to turn out. Did you notice how often I drop the t sound and I use the glottal stop like paint a, 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 a? And that's a very common feature. The other classic feature here is that he doesn't say haven't you. He says ain't ya. Now I'll try and explain what happens here. Number one, haven't you becomes haven't you as we drop the h sound and haven't you becomes isn't you for some weird reason 
and isn't you becomes ain't you. What? So in one sentence, we can hear drop sounds and changes in pronunciation and grammar. And this, my friends, sums up the real East End Cockney accent. Now, Ray is not putting this accent on. It is actually the way he speaks. So I will say this. Not every British accent is Cockney. But Ray Winston's accent is a Cockney accent. And we can clearly see, especially in Ray Winston's accent, that the East and the East End accent, a true one, is pretty hardcore. Now, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on accents, then please do. So keep watching and listening. And all I have to do now is to say, see you later and over and out.